Thank you for tuning into the Philip Scott Show. My name is Danielle DeVita and I am a relationship and femininity coach. I help both men and women be in relationships that's best for them. I have a actually a picture I want to show you because this is one of the groups that I'm in. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and post this picture and we'll discuss it while we're looking at it, right? So um, I'm not going to post the comments that came from it, but this is a picture that was circulating around and they, the women were asked, which of these guys would you be with? And all of, and now this is a, a mom's group that I'm in and I'm pretty sure it's been circulating elsewhere, but a lot of the moms were saying that they choose Melvin. And they were saying, hey, it depends on what he went to jail for. And I'm a little baffled because even if it's, you know, I mean, for it to be 10 years, it's not like something like a misdemeanor. So obviously it's a felony. He's, he's did prison time. And I would assume it's something related to powder, right? Or um, I don't know if you can say these things on YouTube. So you know what I'm saying. You know, if it's that powder, that product, um, you know, so weed or anything like that, if they got that time, I still feel like this, with the street life, a lot comes with it. So even if you say, oh, it was just that, it's nothing violent, a lot comes with that lifestyle and you don't know who's after them for product they never gotten or people who are just upset with them or, or just get, you may get caught up in their stuff again and then you're the girlfriend and the police think you're in on and whatever it is they're doing, they're shaking you down and so I, I think I'm not even sure why someone would choose someone who's um, when you have children, because when I'm talking about this was a mom's group, you have you have children. Um, most of the people in the group have younger children, obviously, and you choose a, a guy who's been in in prison for some time. I just don't think it's wise as a mother um, to have your child around around that or be around that. Now, as time goes by. Because I think it, I don't, it, you just got out of prison. We don't know all the details, right? Everyone's story is different. But I'm just surprised with the options that were here. Most people chose Melvin. And some people was like, hey, I like the big dude, Deshaun, right? And so with that, jealousy, that comes with a lot, right? So that can take a toll on you because one, he's a big dude. One hit from him, you know, you could be hospitalized or that could be the end of it. So Jealousy can kind of bring about some of that type of physical mistreatment, right? You know what I'm trying to say. Um, uh, you know, those DV cases, same thing with um, Chris. You got controlling. All of those things come with, you can be emotionally and mentally bankrupt or hospitalization. And of course, your life can be cut short because when you're dealing with people who've been in and out of prison, who has jealousy streaks and they're controlling. And again, everyone's version of controlling is, is different, right? But assuming, taking it at face value, if, this, if, if, if Chris is controlling and Deshaun is jealous and we have Melvin who's been in prison, um, you know, what does all of that come with? We can't just look at looks. So the reason why I'm saving Marcus for last is because uh, a lot of women were saying, no, you know, I don't want to be with Marcus because I need someone who um, can do the deal, right? And and I think a lot comes with what one person says is good is is different from another because a lot of women have bodies on them. And so they one person can say, oh, I don't feel a thing when another person doesn't have bodies. You guys get what I'm saying, right? So I'm not going to go too deep in that. But so what one person may think is bad, another person does not. Of course, it depends on experience and it depends on connection, right? And you and just taking it out of context of doing the do, but just kissing someone. You could kiss someone and it may not mean anything because there's no connection, but a person who you love and you kiss them, it could mean a, a lot, right? Or it could, it could feel like awesome, right? Like that was a great kiss. So with all that being said, people can be taught, which I, a lot of women were saying that as well, but the number one person that was being picked here is Melvin. And then it was followed by Deshaun. And then you had um, people choose Marcus. And then Chris was last because a lot of women didn't like the controlling thing. I think a lot of that it has to do with submission. And even in my coaching, um, which which is 
one of the reasons why coaching is one of it, it, it's hard for me to do because a lot of women don't want to submit and we're talking about submitting to a good man i don't advocate for submitting to any any person i advocating submitting to the the man that's right for you but sometimes we want people that don't want us so you will have people so assuming let's just assume for a second that marcus is he has no negatives most women would choose him but what marcus choose you is really the question are you there for marcus right are, are you there for him checking all the are you checking all of marcus's box right because we see how you know you want this person to check the box for you and this and that and the reason why i feel like this is a double standard is because we have a lot of women saying no chris is a no-go because i don't do controlling people and then there was another uh picture that was circulating and it had two women and one was the woman she made a lot of money but she was bossy and then the other woman was submissive and she had like a wholesome job or something like that. And she was there. Both women were beautiful, but one just had more of a high paying job. But bossiness came with her. And a lot of men were like, no, I'll choose this lady. I don't want the woman who's bossy. And a lot of women were like, oh, you just can't handle a good woman. You just can't handle a bossy chick. But you don't know how to handle a controlling man. And I'm not saying for you to get with a controlling man, but you don't want a controlling man, but you're okay with being a bossy woman. And these things don't add up. And I think sometimes people have all of these standards that they say that they want, and they don't even meet the standards themselves. They don't want someone controlling, but they're controlling. They're telling a man what to do. And if your man listens when you tell him what to do, then you think he is a simp or he's, you know, because no woman truly wants a weak man, right? They really want a man who is their own man and they're not being told what to do and the man just follows him around like a little puppy. No one really wants that. They're not going to respect that, I should say. Um, so truly, most women want alpha males. They just don't want to be fully told what to do. So really, it's an issue of what submission. And again, it's who you submit to. No one's telling you to submit to any man. No one's telling any man to be with any woman who has a, a, a job that's not doing well, right? So because that's a that's a thing as well oh you, why you don't want a woman who has a good job oh, all of that has to do with knowing the who the person is and what kind of job they're doing what where their direction is in life is really what it is it's not necessarily the job itself but where their direction is in life and um a lot of women they're not really good at vetting and so this is this is truly an um an important thing for for women who are single because like, like i said this was a women's group who or a, mo a mother's group. So if you are a mom, you have to truly be careful of who you are choosing to come into your life and how soon they meet your child as well. And if your child is able to articulate, you know, what this person is saying or doing when they're around them. But if they can't do that, you know, you can't just have anybody come in and out your life and thinking they're the greatest dude ever and then wonder why things have changed. Things never changed. You just didn't get to know them enough to see who they really were. So, a lot of people like the jailbird. They like um, Melvin. Not to say that there's anything wrong with um, people who went to jail because I'm all for redemption. I'm all for rehabilitation and not mistreating people, especially after they get out. But listening to women and, and they're saying, oh, this dude is this, this dude is that. But look what all came with it. You knew this going into it. And now you're mad when you know the, 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 the natural consequences of being with this type of person comes with. So, but a lot of people like the bad boy kind of look and, and, you know, the reason why I think Melvin is a poor choice is given his age. So that means he's been in jail for 10 years. So that means he's been running the streets, you know, all in his twenties and going into his thirties. And now he's just getting out. Like, what, what were you doing? That means he had no trajectory for his life. And yeah, he's coming out as an entrepreneur, but you know, I just, I just find it like, where is this person going in life? I'd rather that if you did go in due time, it would have been early on. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm married. My husband has never done time. But this is to say that I think you should evaluate all of the um, things that it comes with, with being with people. Because, again, people do change. No one is saying don't be with people who are, are like this, but looking at the totality of things. So let's get away from Melvin for a second. Looking at Deshaun, we already talked about what can come with being, being with the person who's jealous, but what comes with this job as well? What kind of club owner is he? Is this a strip club? Is this a club like a lounge? Like what comes with being in this type of atmosphere? Um, 
as as well being with the person that's in this type of atmosphere so you have to take all those things in consideration and um, when you think about someone like Chris he has two children okay his his mother his um, children's mother is she still around and how's that relationship especially if he was controlling how is she you know going to be um, when you come into the picture. So I think people should look at everything before they date someone instead of just look, looking at these these things here. Date a person for a while and, and, and see how their character is. Have they grown from that last relationship? Or are they just blaming the person from the last relationship? Because then they haven't grown, right? Because there's always two, two, you know, two people can make a relationship, you know, make it, go successful or make it fail it's never just one person yes someone can do a main act but it took two people maybe your communication your lack of communication how your how toxic your communication was your um ability to or inability to not recognize crossroads and red flags and deal with those issues so that is all i have for you thank you so much for tuning into the philip scott show to learn more about my channel you can go to mrs danielle davida thank you so much for tuning in take care